everyone I'm doing my shore power inlet outside now I got the cover on because it seems like every time I try to do anything in the boat it's always raining right now but so what I decided to do is put it on the starboard side and I'm gonna put it right here and then of course I have my yellow cord that runs out and plugs into the dock or at my house if I want to leave it plugged in but mounting this here calls for a two and three quarter inch hole saw and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out now the ele electrical part for me wasn't too bad because I'm familiar with in-house electrical panels and things like that uh, for me I haven't done much DC so the DC was a lot more to learn the inverters and things like that if you have any problems with the electrical I'm not a certified electrician. You can always ask an electrician to come out, and that's probably always going to be the best thing to do to look at your stuff. Also, I highly recommend Pacific Yacht Systems. It's a YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. But the guy there, Jeff Cote, he I watched all his videos, and he really explains everything really well, and he really makes sure everything's up to code, and and uh, it's. It's hundreds of hours of videos if you want to watch them all. I'm sure it's a they go they go really really into detail about every single thing, and everything's different. So one good thing about them is if you have something going on, um, you can draw it all out, and you can always send it to them. They'll, I think you, I mean it, it costs, but you can send your plans to them, and then they'll correct it and things like that. And that's one thing I did. I, I drew everything out on paper for mine and make sure I, I, before I start drilling holes and all that kind of stuff, of course. But anyway, let's get a hole drill here. All right, there is a little bit of carpet where that carpet wall is that I got into. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out a little bit. But you can see I got one more layer to get through here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut around this carpet just to, so it won't get spun up in my bit. my flashlight through there so I wanted to do this one for you guys because this is a little bit bigger hole than the normal ones and I still got to put my the rest of this stuff on there and then wire it into the box and everything I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here let's see I got my big hole drilled there and then over there I got my white shore power wire going to my electrical panel so I'm just going to run it through the little carpet here and wire it in there. I didn't want to get it all up in those wires over there. That's my motor wires and all that kind of stuff. And I figure this will be a good spot to put it anyway. It'll be easy to get to. I can run my shore power cord right over right here. And I didn't want to put it on the other side because that's my door. And I didn't want it to be in the way of my door. And my electrical breaker box is right here. So, I think this is going to be a good spot for it. Well, I'm going to clean all this up and I'll be right back. Alright, first thing to put the back piece on. I got my wire sticking out. And this just keeps you protected in the back in your boat. And then also it keeps the wire from getting pulled out. If somebody jerks on it on the inside, of course you need to cable tie it and everything on the inside. 
Make it nice and neat. There's also an app if you go to Blue Sea. Blue Sea Systems, I think it is. That's that's mainly all the equipment I've been using is the Blue Sea. I've been using Anchor, Ancor, I guess you'd say Ancor wire, and then the Blue Sea for actually a lot of the panels and things like that. But there's an app you can go on there if you download the Blue Sea app, and it tells you what size cable you know what wire gauge and all that so the easiest thing to do is just to go on there and download that app and then you enter in how many feet you're going to be running how many amps things like that and it'll tell you what size what gauge you need and a lot of the things that you're going to hook up in the directions is going to tell you what size you need to run and what size fuse things like that so that makes it easier you know some things might tell you you know it's got to have a 120 amp fuse or and then you can it'll tell you what size wire it'll take or you can figure it out yourself off of something like that app all right so once you got that on there and this will that'll screw into the back of the plate later so make sure you got your rubber gasket on there. And this is a full fiberglass boat. If your boat has wood in it, laminate or whatever, you're gonna need to caulk up that completely, I would. If you had any kind of open, open wood, because you could get rot. So I would make sure you, you fill all that up with some kind of caulk and get it stilled up real good. So green to green. Twist it back a little bit. We get down on these pretty hard. You don't want them to slip out. We don't want to break it, but you, you definitely want to put some force behind it. The black goes on the black. And you know, normally with your other electrical, the brass is the black. And the silver is gonna be the white, just like normal. I had too much <clears throat> exposed wire so I had to trim it down about half of it. it it says calls for a half inch that goes inside and then you know maybe an inch and a half to two inch I got right there about an inch and a half plus the other half so it's about two inches is all you need I had way too much wire and it was causing it, it wouldn't it was going to expose wire was going to come out of the back of the box and I don't want that so I had to redo it kind of hard to get this screw on there because it's right in the way of your wires in the back of the box My fiberglass panel was so thick, I'm actually going to mod it a little bit 
the back of the box. You can see right here, the fiberglass is hitting the wire. I don't want that. So I can either put me something around the fiberglass there, some plastic, some tape or something to keep it from rubbing right there. Or I can drill in the back of the box and have the wire come directly out. I'll probably take it back out and just put a little bit of plastic wrap there. So got it got it installed here the 30 amp shore power and this is by Marinko you have to go real slow because whenever you put these screws in make sure you get the right size drill bit I'm using number eight and I was using one and a half inch uh, one inch might be good it depends on what kind of boat you got but make sure you go real slow and you get this rubber gasket on real good and real straight all the way around and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with this. I got this life seal for fiberglass. This is uh, what I've been using. Um, I, it seems to work real well. But I'm gonna put me a bead all the way around the rubber ring and just make sure it's sealed up real good. I could have just gone with the extension cord, but having the breaker box is a lot safer. And then I can plug my generator into here or I can hardwire my generator in through the shore power. I just get a little adapter. And to me, this is just a lot more professional. It makes the boat worth more having it look professional versus just running an extension cord or something in there. It's something that even if I sold the boat, which obviously I'm not, but even if I did, this is something somebody else could use. But I know it's a lot too, this electrical. If anybody has any questions about anything or you want me to show you some more about how it all works or how I wired it, just leave a comment below. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. If you could like and subscribe to my channel, that would really help out a lot since I just started. Alright, thanks for watching.